This is the trial by cake for the dry dredgers. May is our anniversary month. Check that out. Genal spines and everything. That's right, they're trying to buy cookies. I I've never seen a white one before. No, that, that's, that's the nicest looking one that I've seen. Usually they're all like more of a... Black, jet yeah. black. That's amazing. And just for the audience at home, they can hear this. <laughs> Alright, so it's not a unicorn horn, it is a... Civil ball. This is a cephalopod. Oh, look at that. Uh, this is a cephalopod hollow filled in with crystals, but I can see the siphuncle is a separate crystal chamber. That is really neat. Oh, that's really nice. Uh, I will have. Yeah, this one I so, uh, we're part of there. How, how many rocks do you break before you start? Down to the final, and it's only end of the day. So. <laughs> my God, that's huge. This is probably the biggest trail about I've ever held in my hand. No, it's fake. Uh, no, it's real. I picked this Don't one up. Don't say that, Ron. Ron, Ron, is, Ron is starting trouble here. And I had God, some that's beautiful. Prepping. And I found these three and I gave them to that guy to prep But really good stuff. I love some of that stuff. What'd you find this up here? Pardon? Look at the color change. Up in New York. New York? Yeah. Wow. Not, not at the uh, Buffalo site, but in Utica, New York. Okay. Oh, that's from uh, Oklahoma. Oh, uh, the Ohio the Ohio State Council. Well, here they're always you know, the brown color. And they're always in pieces. Well, yeah, they, they, well, these do too. I mean, this rock is really, really hard. Yeah. Uh, this one I was lucky. That's where the hammer hit the rock, and it just peeled right over top of them. But normally you see them as, you know, it goes through them, and then you see a kind of an outline in the rock. Rhizoan. Cephalopod fragment. Another cephalopod fragment. Goochland Cave System. Our, our friend uh, Dave Swigger, he uh, helped make this many years ago. One of our members. They mapped out this cave. It's over nine miles long. Okay, so this is a large Esco Coropera. Uh, bryozoan. This is rare. It's rare to find them this big and intact. This is maybe three inches. Doesn't look like much if you've never heard of them before, but for those who are into the fossil, Ordovician fossils, this is pretty neat. It's a, We're on film now. It's a philhedra, which is an inarticulate brachiopod, and it's on 
and an omelocrinus and curvus hold fast. The big thing in my hand is the big crinoid hold fast, yep. an omelocrinus. Which is on bryozoan, which is the darker, which is growing on bryozoan, okay. I'm pretty sure the ones that are amber colored were alive and buried alive, and the ones that are dark were gas and put in the yeah, I got Candy with insects inside of it. Mmm, mmm, mm, yummy. Amber insect inside candy. What will they think of next? This is sort of like those uh, chocolate covered ants. Same kind of deal. They have a distinct, maybe this is your brush marks, but I know. They have a distinct lineation along the long, long direction of the molecules, too. And I don't know what that is. It almost looks like slicken sides again. But why would there be slicken sides in that direction? You see, well, let's see if you. Yeah, I, I did sort of use striations. It, it does look almost as though somebody's. Sanded it with a with a. Uh, yeah, wouldn't well, do anything I mean, to it. I'm not <laughs> I know. This is really something. This is a cephalopod, but it has been being totally grown over by a bryozoan, and it's even coming up to a a point. This is just incredible. So maybe, maybe it will grow on, on some layers. There's the Krausite crystals. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, if, if you imagine the animal dying and going to plump in the sea floor. No, no, these are limestone. Nice. Okay. This is the same thing. Another cephalopod with the uh, bryzone growing on it and anomalocrinus holdfast. <laughs> these are crinoid holdfast growing on it. So this is... This is a fossil on top of a fossil on top of a fossil. Cephalopod fossils, the squid shell. The bryozoans grew over that, and then the crinoid holdfast grew over that. So this is a triple layer of fossils. This is really cool. What looks like little volcanoes, these are the uh, anomalocrinus holdfast. Very big. These were the biggest crinoids in the Cincinnati. Cool. Except for today and that terrible side.